so that is safe so we can close out paint now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to after effects back to our timeline and we're gonna go and we're gonna move up one frame and then we're gonna pick the quality we're gonna pick best the uh, the resolution uh, full and then as you can see, we want to leave everything how it is like so. Then what we're going to do, we're going to click on OK at the bottom. And then we're going to click on Output Mode, which says Photoshop. We're going to change that to a JPEG file. So I'm going to click on Photoshop, as you can see. What's up, you guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial. It is Friday, so it means a brand new video for you guys. And in this pretty advanced uh, After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create the scribble effect. So a couple of months ago, I uploaded a video how to make a scribble effect in Vegas 14. Uh, so let's play back the video. And as you guys can see, we're going to add all the lines and the scribbles to this actual uh, clip. I want to mention that you have to be patient while doing this. You're not going to uh, just, you know, make a complete music video like scribbled uh, in 10 minutes that's not gonna work at all because it is a lot of work and you need to put a lot of effort into it as well so as you can see right now i'm going to start explaining how it works so scribble effects are basically images with all kinds of lines symbols anything you want to uh, you can think of actually so what we're going to do first of all for this a really long clip for every frame we're going to create a snapshot and then we're going to add the lines into paint drag it back in Vegas and then we have the scribble effect so let's start off with the first one I'm just gonna call this uh, the number one of the frame obviously I'm just gonna sh save it right here then we're gonna move a frame well a couple of frames uh, then I'm going to uh, take another snapshot call this one two then I'm gonna move a few frames then we're gonna call this three then we're gonna move up a couple of frames I'm gonna call this four move up a couple of frames call this five we're gonna let's go let's say that we're gonna go to ten so move a little bit then we're gonna call this uh six two hours later so as you can see right now we have a, sh a crap load of actual f uh little pictures now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the folder where we saved those images and then we're gonna open up each one in paint and then we're gonna start opening well creating uh, the actual scribble effect. So let's open up the first one right click on the first image Then we're gonna open up with paint and as you can see it's a really big one Then we're gonna just go ahead and start adding the lines. Well that video got over 14,000 views I thought like okay everyone received it pretty well So I would say make sure to also do this in After Effects. So that's what we're gonna do today So make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe for more After Effects tutorials on Friday Obviously, so I would say let's get started. So as you can see first of all we, we're gonna start off with a video that we're going to use now we're going to use this really small clip of this singer as you can see and we have some really awesome opportunities to add some scribbles uh, to this so how this works is exactly the same as on sony vegas what we're going to do is we're going to create snapshots we're going to create snapshot fucking we're going to create snapshots of every um still frame that we're going to add the scribble effect on so we're going to start off with the very first frame which is going to be this one as you can see so the first thing that we're going to do to create a snapshot uh, is really simple is we're going to go to composition we're going to click on uh, save frame as we're going to click on file then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom it says current settings we're going to click on there and then we're going to pick the quality we're going to pick best the, uh, the resolution uh, full and then as you can see, we want to leave everything how it is like so. Then what we're going to do, we're going to click on OK at the bottom. And then we're going to click on Output Mode, which says Photoshop. We're going to change that to a JPEG file. So I'm going to click on Photoshop. As you can see, the format, we're going to pick JPEG Sequence. And obviously, we're going to leave everything how it is. So we're going to click on OK. Then we're going to save our image to a specific folder so we can actually access it and edit it. So I'm going to click on Output 2. And we're going to choose our location. So I'm going to pick this folder. So I'm going to call this uh, F1, Frame 1. So I'm going to click on Save. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to that folder and we're going to open up this image in Paint. 
paint to add in the scribbles. We have to click on render, obviously, first of all, to get the frame. So we're going to click on render. Now it's exporting. And if you go to the folder, if you go to the folder, there is our F1 frame. Really cool. So we're going to right click and we're going to open this with paint so we can add in the scribbles. So open with and I'm going to select paint in the list. It opens up in paint beautifully. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on, click on brushes, obviously. Then we're going to pick the thickest one and we're going to add some white scribbles. So we're going to start off with doing some scribbles like so. We're going to add in three scribbles on this side and three scribbles. Well, let me adjust that. Three scribbles on this side. Now, as you can see, this looks pretty accurate. So we're going to press on Control S so that is safe. So we can close out paint. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to After Effects, back to our timeline, and we're going to go and we're going to move up one frame. We're going to use our um, obviously our uh, uh, arrow keys for that, or we can just zoom in the timeline and we're going to click on the next frame, as you can see. So what we're going to do then, repeat the process: composition, uh, pre uh, save frame as file we're going to obviously uh go do everything again it really sucks but we have to do that uh, go to best click on ok click on photoshop choose our jpeg sequence click on the location that we want to save and i'm going to call this f2 frame 2 click on save click on render and that's what I'm, that's what we're going to do and as you can see it says f2 so we're going to open up this with paint again this is the second frame and we are going to add in some other uh uh, scribbles with some red uh, scribbles so I'm gonna do it like so very quick also on this side one two three now we're gonna press Control S to save it and we're gonna do this for a pretty long time so we have multiple images so I'll catch you guys just when I finished doing all of that guys so i just got done and i just uh, made uh, a few frames uh, i think a couple of five now what we're gonna do is we are going to drag those into our project so i'm gonna go to the folder i'm going to select them all all five frames we're gonna drag them into our after effects project and we're going to put them all into our timeline so i'm going to go ahead and place the first one uh, into our timeline and then we're going to line up the second one the third one the fourth and the fifth one and then we should be able to have a nice scribble effect so i'm going to wait until after effects finish loading and then i'm going to drag it in so this is the first one as you can see drag it into our timeline this is the first image as you guys see we have made a paint i'm going to make it a lot a lot a lot uh, shorter than it you, you know is so as you can see that's our first image then we're going to add in the second one underneath it we're gonna make it as long as the first one is let me uh, make let me shorten this small file do it like so zoom in a little Drag in the last one, as you can see right here, we're gonna make it as long as the first ones are. So we're gonna go and stand onto that frame, press Control Shift D to cut it, and then we're gonna time it towards there. So as you can see, we have a nice ladder of frames, and this is how it looks. As you can see, first one, then it's going to be this one, but this one needs to be a little bit bigger though, so it looks pretty legit. So we're going to move on to the fourth one, as you can see, I'm going to click on here, and then the last one also. So this is basically how it looks, guys. This is how to create the uh, scribble effect 
In After Effects, obviously this is really slow, but you guys can also do it way longer with way many, with, with way more frames. So that is it guys, that is how to make this cripple effect in After Effects. It is that simple. So thank you for the continued support and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new extra video, a YouTube tip. I hope you guys are ready for that. So make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.